most SME and micro recruitment companies are owned by people who are recruiters who own a business. What they need to be are business owners that just happen to do recruitment. Now, you might not think there's a big difference between those two. It's enormous. It's gigantic. And certainly if you're a business owner, one of the things that differentiates you from a recruiter that owns a business is your visibility of the future, constantly looking for threats. The metaphor they use is to climb the highest tree in the forest, but constantly looking for threats or things that are coming up that you need to mitigate. And the bigger the threat, the more serious if it happens, the more effort you put into mitigating it. Now, yes, I accept there will be a lot of things that you prepare for that never happen. Well, fine. That's the price you pay. But then nothing will happen that will cause you to lose your business. And not only have you got to put a tick in those three boxes we talked about earlier, which is lifestyle, um, freedom and wealth, but also security. You need a secure business, which is going to ride anything. And what I've just described to you is how to build a secure business. And part of it is addressing risks as early as you can. And this has been coming for ages and we all knew this was coming, really. And, and if you if, say, for example, you suddenly need more money than you've got, well, that's tricky. You know, it's a bit late, really. If you start losing clients quietly, they just stop giving you work. A bit late, really. You should have figured that out six months ago and fixed it. And if you want to start put together a strategic business development machine, your business, that can take quite a long time, certainly six, maybe even nine months to build it properly. Well, going to be a bit tricky if you don't start now so my advice is start now with everything repair now